of all the honors bestowed upon ABC News of late, this one takes the cake. We spotted on Twitter earlier that Rico Rodriguez, the young actor who plays in one of America's favorite TV shows, Modern Family, uh, tweeted out a picture of himself watching our stream. <laughs> and so we got him on the phone. Uh, Mr. Rodriguez, you with us? Yes, I am. I'm here. How are you? I'm doing great. A lot better now that I'm talking to you, dude. Uh, oh, thank you for watching our stream. Oh, my pleasure. Um, you know, we're, uh, whenever we woke up in the morning at like, I don't know, like five in the morning and they're starting the stream. So, you know, I was excited for the inauguration today. So thank, thankfully we have technology that we have today. I was able to get on the computer okay, and watch I am now pleased to invite my colleague. So, uh, what did you think of the speech? I thought it was it was really great. It was very inspiring. You know, President Obama, he always gives such inspiring speeches that this makes you want to be a better person and just continue what you're doing and make it the best you can. And in this day of political bickering and partisanship, how did it make you feel do you, that you have fans on both sides of the aisle? Particularly Mitt Romney said that your show is one of his favorites. That's awesome. I mean, it's, uh, we have such great fans, and to know that you know they're really high-end people, it's really neat to know that. Uh, in addition to sending us a detailed uh, critique of our performance, um, <laughs> I, uh, I wonder whether you could tell us what what uh, sorts of things uh, do do you and your friends do to to stay socially engaged? Socially meaning um, civically engaged, I should say. I'm sorry, say that again, it's kind of breaking what, up. Sure. Uh, uh, what kinds of things do you do? How involved are you? Obviously, I, I don't expect that you're running for office at the moment, but what, how involved are you in uh, either in volunteering or in, or in following politics, and how important do you think it is for young people to stay educated about, about what's happening in Washington? Well, it's definitely, you know, good to know like, what's happening in our country. And, you know, what lately, I've never really had been into politics, and I'm not that much into it, but... I know enough, and you know, this year during the presidential debates and you know the election time, my teacher and I we really you know spent time just talking and just seeing you know. Uh, she had me watch the, one of the debates, I think the second debate, and um, you know write down questions and we'll discuss them, and you know it's just stuff like that, and I really got to know like both of them, and you know I come to realize that in four and more years, I will be electing a president because I'll be 18 and. So that's really neat to know. So, you know, now, I, you know, you really need to know because our future generation, they'll be choosing our, you know, our country's leaders. So it's really nice to know, you know, what's going on. Rico, I, I just cannot stress strongly enough how cool it is that we have you on the phone. We're going to let you go in a second. But before I let you go, I know you're 14. Um, I'm curious, to the extent that you're able to see other kids, because I know you're pretty busy working with, with grown-ups, really, on the show, uh, to the extent that you, you chat with other kids your age, do, do kids uh, you know, who are freshmen in high school, 14 years old, do they talk about what's going on in Washington? Do politics ever come up in conversation? Um, you know, not really. I mean, I haven't even, uh, I'm not in high school yet. I'm still in, uh, I'm in the last grade of middle school, uh, eighth grade. Um, but usually, I mean, we're always here, so I mainly discuss it with my teacher. And I have, you know, with my busy schedule, sometimes here and there, like Ariel, like we're in school and we'll just start, like, saying something and just, you know, speaking our mind. And, you know, uh, it's mainly that I'm, you know, mo mostly debate with my family and who knows me. So if I say something wrong, I won't be in front of people who are like, what? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I just speaking personally, this is one of the coolest things that happened all day. Rico, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. We love your show. We love your show. And not just because it's thank on our you. network. <laughs> we love your show because it's good. We also love your show because it's on our network and does great in the ratings. Right. So we, there, we have a, lot, a, a million reasons <laughs> okay. to love you, Rico. Uh, well, thank, thank you. you. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of your day. My pleasure. Thank you so much. You guys too.